Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're looking at quadratic simultaneous equations. Quadratic simultaneous equations is when you have two equations, one of them being a quadratic, and we're trying to find where they have similar solutions. I've got three examples on the screen for you. I've got a uh, red curve and a blue line, and they cross at two different points. I have a red curve and a blue line crossing at one point. I have a circle graph, which is just pretty much a quadratic anyway, cro uh, crossing at the green line at two points as well. Now, all we're trying to do is find out the coordinates of these two points, of, of the points where they overlap. Uh, now, when I say uh, the solutions, I do mean an x and y coordinate, so you will be looking for an x and a y for every uh, one of the points where they intersect. So straight away, let's have a look at this example. Solve the simultaneous equations x squared plus y squared equals 36 and x equals 2y plus 6. Copy them down and what we're going to do is we're going to replace the x in the first equation by the x in the second equation. So the x is going to be replaced by 2y plus 6. Look what, ha look what happens. Like that. And then we have this equation here, 2y plus 6 squared plus y squared equals 36. And what we've managed to do is we've managed to get an equation uh, just in y, not in x's and y's. And that makes it so much easier to solve. And so we have a double a bracket that we're going to expand. So we use our crab claw method like this. And we're going to expand the bracket. We expand the bracket uh, by doing two... 2y plus 6 times 2y plus 6, and we get 4y squared plus 12y plus 12y plus 36. And then the y squared and the y squared are the same, the 36 and the 36 are the same. And so we're going to simplify the 4y squared and the y squared come together, the 12y and the 12y come together, and we get 5y squared plus 24y plus 36 equals 36, which is a quadratic equation which we can solve. So we start by taking 36 off both sides, and that simplifies it straight away to 5y squared plus 24y equals 0. We can then factorise as y times 5y plus 24 equals 0. Now remember when you're factorising this is uh, to make it easier to solve. And what we know is that something times something is 0, so one of those things must be 0. Either the y is 0, or the 5y plus 24 is 0. And so we rearrange the second equation, 5y plus 24. We take 24 to the other side, and then divide by 5, and we'll get y is minus 4.8. This bit in blue here is just solving a quadratic. And if you prefer, you can use a quadratic formula to do that, or some other way of solving quadratics. Uh, but I normally just factorise. If the numbers are too scary, then probably better to use a quadratic formula. Now we take the y values over, and now we're going to find the x values. To find the x values, we're going to use our equation for x. x equals 2y plus 6. So we slip our y values into that equation. 2 times 0 plus 6 is 6. And then we do the same over here. x equals 2y plus 6. y is minus 4.8. And we type that into our calculator and we get x is minus 3.6. And so the solutions are uh, x is 0, x is 6, y is 0, x is minus 3.6, or y is minus 4.8. Now these have to be in pairs, and they have to be in matching pairs. So 0 and 6 went together, so they go together in the brackets. Minus 4.8 and minus 3.6 are together, they go in the brackets as well. Uh, so you will have to write it as a coordinate pair to finish things off. Now let's just have a look at the graph of this, and as you can see, I've graphed these two equations here, and they cross over at the exact points that we said they would, 6, 0, and minus 3.6, and minus 4.8, which is really nice to see. Okay, and that's it. That is a solving quadratic simultaneous equations. I have some practice questions for you to try here. So all of these pairs on the screen can be solved. Uh, the top one, you're going to have to rearrange to get x on its own to start with. 
So the x minus y, we're going to just move the y to the other side to start off. The, uh, and the bottom one, we're going to have to use a quadratic formula. You will get away decimals for this bottom one, so, but it will still work out if you use the quadratic formula. Okay, good luck with this. Uh, so pause the video now, and when you're ready, you can uh, see the answers in 3, 2, and 1. And here we are, the answers on screen. Thank you for watching today's video. Uh, please like and subscribe for future videos from Advanced Maths. We have new videos coming every week uh, to help with GCSE, IB and A-level maths. Okay, good luck in your exams guys and bye for now.